uh, the Kawa bee sanctuary that I set up. And um, even though <coughs> the bees I have are on their last legs, um, I do want to show you a few things. <coughs> the sunflowers, as you can see, are out. Um, obviously, bees have probably been in this here because the pollen's here, and something's been f knocking the pollen out, right? You can see the pollen. Lots of uh, pollen. This is good. This is food. And um, I've been doing this green cover, uh, green cover, right? And um, and I want to show you the size of these sunflowers, and more importantly, the thickness of their stem, right? So these I haven't really been using green cover that on it, right? And look how small they are. These all planted. But look at this guy here, and he's got he's got flowers going to be shooting up all over him. And look at the size of the stem. This one I didn't, and look how thin it is, right? This one I did, and look how thick it is. Green cover is this act of putting this, the green vegetation and, and watering, right? Look at the size. These didn't. Look at the size. This one over here, I just noticed, is just tremendous. And um, what I did with this one is a little different than all the others, actually. I want to talk about this one. If you look down here, you'll see there's dirt on it. This dirt actually came from over here, down here. So this dirt, as you can see, if I move this aside here, and I bet there's worms in here, worms break up the dirt. Look at this, nice and fine, right? And what I did was I put that dirt, this is all made up of worm poo and everything else, and I put that dirt around this and I watered it and look at the size of this trunk it's just chucker block massive you know compared to this one here look at this one very thin it's older than this one this one is in, the flower hasn't come out opened up yet but this one's much thinner so this ground fertilizer technique that I've that I've you know developed I really believe in it because of the proof here. These sunflowers are massive. They're taller than any sunflowers out there. These, I mean, they're, they're nine foot tall. Nine foot tall sunflowers. These are massive. These were fruit. These would be massive vegetables. So, ground cover really works. And uh, I recommend you try it. Look at this, the thickness of the stem. How does it work is this, very simple, is it, it's, if you put ground cover and all, the process of putting green, you know, green vegetation under the, the plant, watering it, periodically pulling it back, adding green, and recovering it with the old, right? So I'm always pulling back, adding green, and recovering it. What it does, and if you're watering, what it does is, one, it attracts the worms. Two, the worms defecate, they pee, and everything else. I think I'm going to have flowers all over this one. Look at this. Um, and ultimately... Uh, they, uh, you know, they add fertilizer. It's natural. The worm pea and worm is 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 a uh, the best fertilizer out there. So I don't know why these. I need to get some of my worm tea and spray these leaves and see how they do, right? So I don't know why these leaves have gotten eat up here, but the leaves on. This one over here is just massive leaves. Look at the size of these leaves, right? Look at these leaves. They are just tremendous. So my, my uh, I also do the green cover, green on the mint, and the mint's really shooting up here and looking really good. So this is the Kawa Bee Sanctuary update. Flowers, but no bees. Why is there no bees? It's really simple. As long as they're dumping, you know, pesticides right over here into the water. The, all these fields have been sprayed with pesticides. I see frogs down there. They're, they're just as dangerous as they're, they're, you know, to any cranes. You don't see any cranes, do you? You used to see cranes. You don't see cranes anymore. Why? Because they're being poisoned to death. The bird of Japan is being poisoned to death because of the pesticides. So the Japanese farmer is solving a, a problem. Yes, we don't have birds because we've killed them. We don't have, you know, 
um, insects because we've killed them. But the long-term ramifications of this are massive. We're killing the dragonflies that eat the mosquitoes. We're killing the, you know, we're killing the cranes. We're killing the, the birds. You see no birds. All this food out here. Look at this. This is, you see the light? That's all seed. But not one bird is touching it. Why? Because if they do, they're dead. Because the systemic pesticide in the, in the seed. Um, something I noticed that they've done is they've marked off my little territory here, right? So they have marked off, I guess for my little area here, they've marked off this side, they've marked off that side, um, I guess for me to take care of. And um, the government has, the government guys came out, so I'm not sure what it means, but there's a cumulus nimbus, we'll start getting rain. We haven't had rain for about a month. So I water pretty much every day, and uh, there's a, and look, they've done the same thing over here. They have, uh, they have marked this off. I don't know what, what it means, why they've done it, but they've staked it. So I don't know if they've staked it to say, hey, don't go any further. Stay in your area here, right? They're allowing me to play around here for the, the bees. All right? I don't know. You tell me.